tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. You can tell when they're all the right polarity because I want these for <coughs> I want these to pose like uh, ring magnets for a vertical wind turbine so you can tell when they're all polarized the same way because they'll want to stay apart whereas if they're different ways up positive and negative then they'll try and cling together so what we want is two rings uh, that oppose each other so I've done <coughs> I've made roughly well a rough cut of one you know one magnet thick and they work so but they're not strong enough so I'm making this one two magnets thick if you line the magnets up in a long stick they'll always be the same polarity and you can remember which way they're going on Place them in from the side. So they'll just do their own thing. Especially when you get to get to the end. I'm gonna try and make a bit of space. This is the first time I've done this, apart from those ones which I tried earlier, so it's new to me, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but <coughs> the price of ring magnets, the big ones, I wanted to be able to make my own. So there's wings, rudders. have got resin and fiberglass so that may be the method to solidify them correctly but I need to try making them as perfect as possible which means getting another ooh. getting another set to squeeze in it's not going to be easy because that one keeps wanting to come out. Right, let's see what happens. Oh, they went on, but. They ain't enjoying being there, so I'm going to move them to the outer ring where we shall have more space. So the job now is to make the other one and then to try and make them as uniform as possible. Yeah, as promised, magnetically it's going to be quite strong. So as long as it's, and you can see there, there's different width in, widths in between the magnets. So. I'm going to get a 7 mil drill bit tomorrow. But for today, I'm just going to try and get two of these made. <coughs> 